what we have done in our earlier recording was that we have tried to find out beta 1 hat and beta 2 hat under simple linear regression model. Now here in this recording what we are going to do is we'll simplify beta 2 hat estimator. Okay, now this was our beta 2 hat estimator. That this is summation y i x i minus summation of y i into summation x i upon n upon summation x i square minus summation x i whole square upon n. This is what we have. Now let us look at the numerator. Okay, and then let us look at this expression summation of y i minus y bar into x i minus x bar. Okay, just just look at this expression and just open this up. What will you get is y i x i minus x bar y i minus y bar x i plus x bar y bar. Clear? Putting the summation sign, what will you get is summation y i x i. X, x bar is constant, so it will come out of the summation sign x bar y i minus y bar into summation x i y bar being constant will come out of summation sign plus x bar y bar are both constant and they are added n times so it will be n into x bar y bar <clears throat> now well you know this that y bar is equal to summation y i upon n and x bar is equal to summation x i upon n clear so what you have is summation y i x i in minus x bar into in place of summation y i you can write n y bar minus y bar in place of summation x i you can write n x bar plus n x bar into y bar now remember this that this will become what minus n x bar y bar and this is plus n x bar y bar it will it will get cancelled out and what will you have eventually is summation of y i x i minus n x bar y bar okay what will you have is summation y i x i minus n into summation x i upon n into summation y i upon n. Again this n and n will get cancelled out and what will you have eventually is summation y i x i minus summation y i into summation x i upon n. Clear? So this is your numerator. In case if you look at it this actually is your numerator summation of y i x i minus summation of y bar in, into minus uh, into x bar <coughs> into summation of x bar upon n. Now if you look at the denominator huh, so how do we do this? In case if you look at the denominator <coughs> just look at this expression summation x i minus x bar square. Clear? So how do you do this? Just open this up and you will have x i square plus x bar square minus 2 x i x bar. Put the summation sign, summation of x i square, since x bar is constant, so x bar square is also constant, it will be n x bar square minus 2 x bar is constant, so it will come out of summation sign into summation x i. This will be summation x i square plus n x bar square minus 2 x bar. But you know this that summation of x i is n x bar. x bar is equal to summation of x i upon n. So summation of x i is n x bar. So you can write summation of x i square plus n x bar square minus 2 n x bar square okay so it will be summation of x i square minus n x bar square clear so what will you have is 
summation of xi square minus n into you can write this as summation of xi upon n whole square so 1n will get cancelled out with 1n of this so what will you have is summation of xi square minus summation of xi whole square upon n okay so what you can do what what you have seen and this is your denominator okay this exactly is your denominator so what you have is basically this becomes summation of yi minus y bar into xi minus x bar upon summation of xi minus x bar square okay so this is the term which we wanted to which we which which we wanted to derive but you can always write this as summation of yi minus y bar as these are the deviations from mean so it will be summation of yi into xi upon summation of xi square well these lowercase letters these are nothing but the deviations from mean these are nothing but deviations from mean which is yi minus y bar and xi is xi minus x bar